The Indian government has cleared a proposal to build a new airbase at Minicoy Island and upgrade existing airfield at Agati Island as airbase for military operations. The Turkish government has imposed a comprehensive ban on exporting military equipments to India, and this move comes months after India cancelled the contract with Turkey's Anadolu shipyard for five fleet support ships. The DRDO is looking for private industry partner for the development of laser source module and integration with beam control system on a mobile platform. HAL has signed MOU with their aeronautical development agency for operational clearance of Tejas Mark II fighter jet during its testing and development phase, to ensure faster induction in service with Indian Air Force. The CEO of Lockheed Martin met Prime Minister Modi, at a time when Lockheed has offered local production of C-130J aircraft under medium transport aircraft program. A Pune-based startup Combat Robotics has developed an innovative simulator in collaboration with the RDO, that caters to unmanned ground vehicles, unmanned underwater vehicles, unmanned surface vehicles and unmanned aerial vehicles. The RDO's Defense Metallurgical Research Laboratory has developed a cost-effective and efficient process to develop indigenous fused silicoradums for missile applications. Ordnance Equipment Factory has Ratpur has established a state-of-the-art surveillance drone manufacturing unit, that will manufacture tethered drones with an impressive flight time of 40 hours and payload capacity of 6 kilograms. A visiting high-level Mongolian defense delegation paid a visit to Bharat Electronics Limited, and they expressed keen interest in several advanced electronic systems. Indian Navy's frontline frigate INS Tabor has reached Hamburg in Germany to take part in an exercise with the German Navy. During Prime Minister Modi's recent bilateral visit to Russia, Russia has reignited its proposal for joint production of its advanced S-500 air defense system, that has been developed as a successor to the S-400 system, and represents a significant leap in aerial defense technology. The Russian side has said, that the S-500 has the capability to track up to 10 hypersonic targets simultaneously, and detect hostile objects in the lower layers of space at altitudes reaching 2,000 km. It can intercept a wide array of aerial threats, including hypersonic missiles and ballistic missiles at ranges extending up to 600 km. Hindustan Aeronautics has received clearance to upgrade the first tranche of 84 Su-30 fighter jets, and latest reports indicate that the upgrade will cost approximately 140 crore rupees per aircraft. The major cost of the upgrades for the aircraft will be to equip it with an upscale two-ton radar, that will enhance its detection and tracking capabilities. One of the most notable aspects of the upgrade is the substantial increase in indigenous content, as it will feature 78% Indian-made components. Hyderabad-based firm Redon Systems has achieved a significant milestone by successfully testing its Archer canister-launched loitering munition at an altitude of over 4,500 meters in lay under the supervision of the Northern Command of Indian Army. It demonstrated an endurance of over 50 minutes, and a payload capacity of 1.5 kilograms, and it is potentially the only loitering munition capable of operating at such high altitudes of over 4,600 meters. It can be used in semi-autonomous or autonomous modes, and can be used to attack terrorist hideouts, vehicles, fuel and ammunition dumps, and can also be launched in swarms to overwhelm enemy air defenses. Hindustan Aeronautics Limited has signed an amendment to the Memorandum of Understanding with the Aeronautical Development Agency, expanding the role of HAL in the Tejas Mark II program. Under the revised MOU, HAL will be responsible for completing the Tejas Mark II development, and securing operational clearance during its testing and development phase known as Full-Scale Engineering Development Phase 3, that is valued at a substantial 2,970 crore rupees. The first Tejas Mark II prototype is currently planned to roll out by the end of 2025, with its maiden flight targeted for 2026.
today's top 3 comments. Oh, Mark, dropped it.